My name is Unaji Lovely Dojuku, the daughter of Chief Ezekiel Unaji, who is the special advisor to Igwe of Ubebe Amundu. I was born in Kumba Town, Southwest Province, Meme Division, Cameroon, but I hail from Umoha Ubebe Amundu in the Kano West Local Government Area of Enugu State. I am the author of the book titled History of Amodu Okonano and History of Okonano Ntuebenese. This is another documentary on Okonano Ntuebenese. Okonano Osawede. Okonano Osawede. Osawede Osawowa. Osawede Osawowa. Let's go. The Ntuebenese clan falls into two distinct areas. Okonano, which is in the Nkanu local government area, and the other four South Ntwebwe village, which is in Ogu local government areas. The four South Ntwebwe Nese village comprises of Ogugweze, Oweleze, Iheze, and Abogugweze, according to seniority. While Okonano was made up of the following Obofia, Wakebugu, Amodu, and Oma. In 1932, the population of Okonano was 17,620 people. Obofia village area was 1,155 people. Akebugu village area was 5,500 people. Amodu village area was 3,126 people. Oma village area was 8,289 people. The other four South Ntwebwe village area was 12,188 people. Ogugu village was 1,952 people. Oweli village was 2,530 people. Ihe village was 3,492 people, while Abogugu village was 4,214 people. Okonano sub clan was among the 28 autonomous communities in Nkano local government area of former Anambra state. Presently, Okonano sub clan is among the 37 autonomous communities in Nkano west local government area of Enugu state. The soil of this area is full of pebbly gravel which appears to be fairly fertile. Okonano sub clan experiences two well-defined seasons, the rainy and the dry seasons. In the past, the feast of different deities was usually celebrated during the raining season. Okonano has rows of tall trees and plentiful water supply. The area is surrounded by a number of rivers, such as Nyama, Atavo, and many others. Okonano is bordered on the north by Nike, on the south by Ube and Ozala, on the west by Udi and Ongo, on the east by Awani and Abugo. The people of Okonano belong to the Igbo group known as Wawa. For more details, see page 7. To do more research, to find more deep about both Nkemi Ntwemweze, who was the founding father of Ntwebwe group, migrated from Akeze in Okiwe on a hunting trip until he got to a valley situated between crops of hill. Where there was a nearby stream called Miriogubu. He married a woman who bore him five children, namely Ogubweze, 
Owelize, Ihe Eze, Abubuweze, and Akebuweze. On the death of Ntrebwe, his children dispersed to different areas, while Ubuweze, the oldest son, remained in his father's first and original settlement as the first son, while the youngest son, called Akebu Ubuweze, drifted into the thick forest up north. Another version was that Ubu Ojene was said to be the father of Ntrebwe, who married two wives. One gave birth to three boys, namely Ubuweze, Abu Ubuweze, and Okonano, according to seniority. The second woman gave birth to two boys, namely Owele Eze, Ihe Eze, according to seniority. Their father, Ntrebwe, was known as Shika Gumo. <laughs> but the name of these five sons came as a result of where they settled and not the original name given to them. Four out of five sons left their ancestral home at Ububu and settled in different areas while Ububu remained in their father's original abode as the first son. The place where Abu Ububu and Okunano first settled was known as Shikaguma in the village area of Oshianeke. It was said that Okunano could be traced to a famous hunter called Osawere Osawuwa whose father was called Ntwebweze, who migrated from Ububu on a hunting expedition. He saw a lame woman at Obofia who pleaded with him not to shoot her, and he took the woman to the forest where he built a hut under a gigantic tree where they lived together as husband and wife. <laughs> The lame woman gave birth to four sons. The first son was called Obunofia, meaning home of honey. Obo means heap of honey, and Ofia means forest. <laughs> Okay, 
Nisa ya mulo. Ah ta ja. Ke ke ni jangwe. Iwo o si ke. To to si ko lai won. Iwo lu o te ma nfo je nyun fu. Iwo lu isi e nka hin si e do. Ni gun yo. Iwo lu ko ra ga ha won e bo. Ni gun wa. Iwo lu nko zo ni ge o wele. So ebe o je 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 nta. O je o je ge yin. O le pa. Abu. Abu. O ro go ja ko ni ka bu. Ko je ja ja o nya o kan o nya o kan. Ah. Apo je so. Eh. O nya o kan na. So o kan na na za ja. ไม่ได้ดูเลยโอ้โหเวลานักคุ้มคุ้มยี่ห้อเดียวกันอ่ะอาบุ๋มเอ็กซ์คอร์ดิ้งอ่ะโอ้โหโอเคได้สิครับต
Ne kuja chika kwa mbano huku. Oku nana ungwana. Mili na hongu. Au ulu mili. Mili na hongu. Tewe. The forest became known as Obunofia and was later called Obofia. The second son was called Akwebwe. The name Akwebwe was derived from kite knot. The name came as a result of seeds of palm nuts eaten by kites where Osawede pitched his tent and Ugu came as a result of a hilltop where a shrine called Ugunani was built by Osawede where he always went to make sacrifices to the gods. The name was later made up of three significant words of Akwebwe meaning kernel. Ako means kernel, ewe for kites, and ugu connoting hill, which now form the words Ako ewe, ugu, and later called Akebugu. The third son was called Ama Udu, meaning den of rats. This type of rat lived only in the bush, which is bush rats, and it was different from the rats living within the homes or compound. While Udu means rat, which together form Ama Udu, and which was later changed to Ama Udu. Okay. Ash no go ochi ochi okanano. Odu ka wo ne ka mo bi kishi ne de. Yes sir. Okay. Nineteen eighty. We are moving. Okay. Okay. I Okay. Okay. I no contact. No more. No more. No Mm-hmm. <laughs> The fourth son was called Uma, meaning extra, additional son to his three previous sons. The descendant of Uma founded Amechi and Obago Konano. So the four sons of Osa were the founded Obofia, Akebugu, Amodu, and Uma, collectively known as Okoano, meaning four corners. It became necessary for Osa Wede to set a tax for his children in order to appoint his successor by merit. The tax was demanding. There was a big stone called Omoha in front of Osa Wede's compound. He requested each of his sons to bring the stone before him. Incidentally, only Aku Ebwe could do so and so pass the test, though Amo would try to carry the stone to his knee. Osawede called his sons and informed them that 
His successor should be strong enough to protect others from any external aggression. He then made Akwebwe the eldest among his brother. Some elders were of the view that Akwebweze or Osagwedosawa married one wife, which is the lame woman who gave birth to four sons. Why some believed that he married two wives because of the sharing of sacrificed meat into two. Even your own view, you put in a no not a why now, but who why? Why? Why some said that the lame woman from Amore was the mother of Obofia and Oma, while the second wife was a native of Mako who gave birth to Akebugu and Amud. Mm. <laughs> This was why the founding father of Amodu, the younger brother of Akebubu, first settled in Opateenugu in Akebubu before locating to Amodu and was found and close to Akebubu. While Oma first settled at Obofia before migrating to their present location and was also close to Obofia. But what I learned was that uh, Osagwede uh, first settled uh, in the Okunano. He was a hunter, as we were, uh, we were taught in this mm. world. Osagwede uh, had uh, This is four. Mm -hmm. Namely, uh, which is uh, Akebe, mm -hmm. uh, Amud, Ubota, Uma, mm -hmm. Uma, this kid is a bad one. Okay. Now let's look at the migrations and settlements of the towns in Okonano. Firstly, Obofia was the ancestral home of the people of Okonano. 
His father migrated from Ogugu on hunting expedition and got to Obofia where he met a lame woman and decided to settle there. Akebugu, the founding fathers of Akebugu concentrated on hunting expedition on the hilltop within Ogunani Shrine where there were six of palm nuts eaten by kites. Akebwe lived in the area located on top of a hill. The lifting of Omoha stone made him the eldest in Okonano. Okay. 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 After September, everything, eh, eh. Omo have nothing to do in November. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm not Okay. 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 When I played in the old days, I you know, you bump for the And uh, okay, Karaka, you are the guy talking about Karaka, very much there. Oh, many people are the Koga home. Or she should be here, maybe you can do it. Gapanga, or more, or more, or more, or more, no mega to church. Yeah, it's your mirror church. Now by Hanabro, no, 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 Come on, I have to wash a pump. Which is you know, if you are a vision, all the confusion ages, no more tank, all the confusion ages, can have an unwell, get a rat of Nazia came in, get the kind of bed. Urtation, neighbor, Amo, Amo, Amasham, and Amo, but behind it for more attack. Who's your hunger? You can't open up the other day, you change him. Ohono so we have a boss, a location, a mood, a situation, a mood to go on. Amibo in Akebubu was said to have migrated from Umukuroba, Ozala. Apuke Okonano. I ain't telling the Akebe. Okay. I ain't telling the Akebe. So I ain't saying that I'm not about. The village is not Akebubu. Oh, that's how. Eh? Okay. 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 Okay.
So because you want to heritage, Jia has a good, it's okay to Jia. Because no, that Jia ne 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 Okay. The people of Akuke formerly lived in Ndiagwa Kebubu. It all started in 1936 when there was a fight in Akebubu between the people that lived in Ndiagwa Akebwe and other Akebwe indigenous. Six children were stolen in the course of the fight from the side of Ndiagwa Kebubu, from which only four were recovered and nine Akibugu indigenous were sentenced to seven years imprisonment. A land was offered to the people of Ndiagwa Kebubu at Akuke with the assistance of the district officer at Awani. And between 1936 and 1938, a settlement was made at Akuke Okonano and all the villages in Akebubu were also replicated in Akuke. The name Apuke came as a result of the style or posture the settlers took when cultivating in pre-colonial times. Ipuke Kooro, meaning standing while cultivating, which was later called Apuke. Amodo Okonano. The location is still there where Amud migrated from to the present uh, place. Around the Kerba was where Amud settled. The relics of the settlement could be seen now. It was said that Amodu migrated from Akebubu and the first person that arrived Amodu was Uhu Achara. But because of the fear of attack from white animals, he built his hut on a tree top. Okbebe was the second to arrive Amodu, but he built his own hut on the land and Enugu came last. A time came when they contested for seniority. The Uhu Acharas held the view that they came first, while the Ubebes held their own view that Uhuachara came but built their hut on a tree. But the Ubebes were the first to settle on the land, hence the first to settle in Amodu. Both of them scrambled for land. See page 42 of the book for more details. <laughs> Okay, so okay, the meaning of umwezi. Okay, 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 it was said that a lady was pregnant in her father's house outside marriage. She left to an unknown place where she gave birth to five sons in that area, Ihunakwago in Abugu, and they were called Umweze. They got the name Eze from the name of the founding father of their mother, Akebu Eze, who originated from Ubugu Eze. Due to constant quarrels and fightings between the people of Umweze and the people of that area, Ihunakwago, they were sent out and they decided to migrate back to Amodu since their mother was from Amodu, pleading with Amodu people to accommodate them. For more details, see page 43 of the book. 
uma okunano. A hambo also chibos of all in a GJP. A bumbo, the regent of a nature one coming. The ambitch sooner or two of the Buddha Nokonano. The car has a Dokonano, Okano, Oko, Amo, the Gushina had a woman Nano, Amo. You could have one when I put Oko. I can ambuche, among what we have a pop, the Kamaka, the Yanka, the third or the Bismaka, the Yanka, the third Makayanka. I work, I work, I work, I work, I work, I work, I I I I I I work, I work, I work, I I I I Uma means extra, which is additional sons to the three previous sons. Uma left their original home at Obofia to their present home in Amechuono because of this piece of white fruit they discovered in the area. He settled at Uwabwa, where Choku Memorial Secondary School is presently situated. Uma married a woman who bore him two sons, namely Amechi and Obago, according to seniority. <laughs>